either is to buy the whole thing. semi-battery that's conductive in one direction. 
So I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And I'm not a chemist. Don't claim to be a chemist. But I can tell you one thing that I learned about it. I'll redraw all these circuits and leave them up here. What I did find out about the crystal was this. That when it grows a pure crystal, I'll just put it this way, can you see that? Out this crystal, for some reason, when it's working with this one-way gate, builds little tubes that run every direction. So I got to thinking to myself, wow, a crystal that you could see these little things and you could actually see the moisture inside these little tubes when you put it underneath a microscope. And so I was looking at tubes that contained moisture. And I knew that they went every direction. My semiconductive material had to be shaped. Not it had to be like this. It gave me the best output, the best response. I did get the response on a flat sheet, but it didn't last very long. This lasted forever. And Chuck's got a few of them here that we're going to run. And not only did we experiment with that, we built an aluminum that. We bought the carbon graphite rod and cut that and decided, well, we need, we need something here to connect the graphite rod. So we bored a hole in there and tapped it and we added a screw inside here so we could attach the wire. However, what we found out was when we used the carbon, the allen material, the screw, and this is sitting on top like this. That would be this would look like. Then a very strange migration took place in the graphite rod. So I said to myself, well, no wonder all those batteries on the internet are failing. The iron wire that they're using gets sucked right through the graphite through these little tubes and starts to deposit between the material that you're trying to make the ionic transfer with. So you lose the battery. So I discussed all kinds of theories. Well, this is building up on the plate, and if you wiggle the plate, you know, you'll find out that you've lost all the oxygen. This doesn't do that. This makes oxygen. So, what is it? What if we turn it over? 